Hey, what's going on guys, G1X here, and today we're taking a look at DC Comics Designer Series by Greg Capulo, Batgirl. Now, this is the same mold that they used for the new 52 Batgirl, but a couple things have changed here. The colors have obviously changed, and also her weapons. So where the 50, new 52 came with a grappling hook that was poorly executed, I thought that was a poor accessory and it fell apart in my hand as soon as I took it out of the packaging. This one actually comes with three of these batarangs. Very simple, but still, it fits the kind of Batgirl, Batman you know, uh, weapon accessories that you'd like to have, and they're very simple, and it's hard to screw them up. So that's why I kind of prefer that over the grappling hook. The other thing is the grappling hook had a long string on it, which was kind of weird looking uh, whenever you wanted to pose her, but this is much better. The other thing that, as far as the colors, you can see that, uh, I kind of forget what they use on the new 52, but they use this kind of pearlescent gold going all throughout the figure and also whenever you look at the black it's actually has some two-tone black where there's some shinier black throughout here and here this is all kind of like a flat black but it has kind of a like a pearl spray to it if you guys know what I'm talking about kind of a metallic looking spray so it looks really nice and it's not just plain black it kind of pops still the other thing is the face. It's a little bit more fleshy looking. And then her eyes are made a little bit brighter blue, but they're still very nice in detail like the new 52. The other thing that I, it's worth mentioning, uh, if you remember, I had the new 52 actually twice, and her hair came off as soon as I took it out of the packaging. The other one, like an arm broke or something like that. And I was like, you know what? I'm not buying this figure anymore. I really wanted it. But I saw this, and I saw they changed it up a little bit. And I was hoping that they did the same thing that they're doing with the Batman the Animated Series to where a lot of people had QC issues with these guys and on the first wave and they said well we're going to fix the joints from wave 2 and on and then when we come out and re-release the first wave we'll obviously have those things fixed so uh, as you guys know I went through three Catwomans as well uh, but with her I haven't had any issues. Everything seems to be bending correctly. Uh, there's still some joints that get a little bit tight, like in the knees. Uh, it feels like they're glued together, but if you move it, uh, it'll eventually, you know, break from being, you know, in the package for a little so long, or maybe there was kind of that pearlescent paint that they put on afterwards. Uh, I'm not really sure what the problem is over at DC, why they have some of these QC issues with their figures, but I uh, wanted to point those things out to you. As far as size comparisons, I don't have any of the new 52 stuff, but uh, I do have a couple of Batmans that are, uh, you know, they're all trying to, you know, holler at uh, Batgirl here. So we've got the animated or the new adventures, and then here is the Injustice. Uh, here is a, God, I don't even remember what these things are called. Um, and then here's the uh, NECA one. So she's about in the same scale as your NECA figure. Uh, and probably, yeah, she's taller than every other uh, Batman that I got here, so. Alright, let's take a look at this little accessory. Like I said, she comes with three of them. Uh, it's very tiny, uh, so you can see a thumbnail there. Uh, but it's just black on both sides. There's no, like, major detail to it, so. And all three are the same. Uh, as far as her detail and articulation, uh, so we can kind of zoom up on some of this stuff. As far as the face, like I said before, I mean, those eyes are just awesome looking. They're a, she's got the, obviously the blue eyes, but there's a little bit of a white speck there on the uh, top left hand corner of each eye to kind of make it look like it's catching in the light. And then obviously the white on the outside and then has the black pupil. So, I mean, that. That's incredible. I love the way that this figure looks. And that's why I was so, you know, sad why, you know, the New 52, their first two broke. But this is my third one, I guess you could say. And they did a really nice job. Uh, the hair, uh, another problem that I said, uh, the hair, this is actually a separate piece glued into the head. And the first one that I had, it just fell out as soon as I took it out of the package. This one, I'm not going to really mess with it any, but you can see that uh, just kind of, you know, touching it here, it's not falling out and it's just glued in there. So maybe they used a little bit better glue. Uh, but, you know, moving her head around, uh, you have some articulation there. You can bend back and forth, look up, look down, rotate. It's just, you know, her hair. I want to be still careful with it, even though I think the problem is fixed, but you never know. Uh, as far as the arms, they go out just about this much. And obviously can go 360. They just kind of hit the cape there. Uh, with the elbow, it does just bend in 
right there. I wish there was some type of bicep swivel, but there's not. Uh, it does rotate, however, here at the glove. But there's nothing here at the wrist. So, like, if you wanted this wrist to be doing something else other than, I don't know, it looked like she's, like, petting a cat or, you know, a really tall dog or something like that, uh, you can't do anything with it. Uh, and she can just hold this batarang. So it's really just meant for, like, you know, one type of pose with her arms. And you can do several different things with her legs, though. Uh, but as far as the cape, this obviously kind of just moves freely. Uh, you want to be careful with this just because not on her yet, but on the new 52 one that I had, uh, it was also gold back here. And it, like, it would, whenever you bend it, you could see it start to crack. So that's something that you'd want to be careful with as far as QC goes. Uh, as far as the waist, nothing in the waist, unfortunately. Uh, look at the detail in that, uh, that buckle or the uh, belt. You see some lines going through that. And even, you know, the detail throughout here. You know, it's not just solid black. And I don't know if any of those little specks in the black are picking up, but you can kind of see. And that's what I was talking about, the two-tone, where this is a little bit shinier, a little bit shinier in the black, you know, right here throughout the suit. And same thing right here. As far as the legs, obviously, forward, back, all the way. Uh, no in and out, unfortunately. The legs or thighs do rotate, even though it kind of looks a little silly. Uh, the way that it's done. The knees, they go back. Uh, for, I think it might have been both or just this knee. Uh, whenever I tried to move it the very first time, it was like stuck. And I was like, man, am I going to break another figure? Uh, but it eventually, you can see that you know it pulls back fine now. Uh, the boots do rotate as well. She does have one hole here. I tried to fit it on a little G.I. Joe or Cobra stand and uh, it's a little bit too big for that. So, well, it's a shame she didn't come with some type of stand. But you could, you know, if you had like a box or something and, you know, for her to prop her foot up on, I mean, that could be a cool stance. Uh, you know, kind of looking at you like this and has the battering out here. You know, that could be a cool pose or kind of the one that I already had her in. But uh, because of the bicep and the legs not being able to go out, uh, the, the waist, that's not really a big deal to me, but the bicep and also nothing in the wrist and I would say the, the legs not being able to go out uh, really hinders her in like making some dynamic poses or even coming maybe instead of wrist, you could have gave us maybe an extra glove or something. Uh, I just think that little motion right there is a little bit silly, but wanted to show this off to you guys just because uh, a lot of you saw my first review on her and you knew that I've ran into two different problems and I uh, wanted to bring this one to you. So if you were having some issues or you're on the fence on, you know, is this one going to have the QC issues like the other one? Uh, this one seems to be a little bit better or at least on the figure that I got. Uh, me being a big fan of Batman and, you know, Catwoman and Batgirl and stuff like that. Uh, this is one that I wanted to pick up. So it's worth taking a shot. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and uh, hopefully I help you out. Peace.